Uh, great to have you here, Stefani Taylor, captain of the Guyana Amazon Warriors women's team. Uh, recently moved on from the West Indies captaincy. Do you think that's something that's potentially going to help you play for the West Indies even longer? Just concentrate on your own game? Yeah, that's something that um, yeah I'm looking forward to. And yeah, it kind of eases um, the pressure a bit just so that I could you know, focus on me being an all-rounder and, yeah, you know, lend my support to, you know, the captain for sure. You're going to be leading this guy on our Amazon Warriors team. What do you, uh, what do you make of the squad so far? Um, I think we do have a balanced, balanced team. Um, I know, well, two of the overseas players so far. Um, I think the other overseas players should come in today. Um, she's an under-19 player, so um, yeah, try to get, you know, get used to her um, and yeah, see, see what she's like, really. I know I'm quite excited watching, um, I know I'm quite excited watching you and um, uh, Chamari Athapathu bat together. I mean, is that kind of what you're thinking, the two of you up the top of the order? Is that kind of what you've been discussing? Um, the coach did say that um, we'll have some dis discussion. Um, it's not announced, or we not we haven't discussed really what the batting lineup will look like. Um, so, yeah, not sure what what what, what the whole um, composition of the team in terms of batting lineup will look like. But um, yeah, it would be nice to. You know, bat with um, Atta. I've never batted with Atta before, so I know she's, you know, really aggressive. And uh, yeah, we we have a really good relationship, so I really like that. And then in terms of those overseas players, I mean, what do you think the Ayabonga Kaka and Chamari Athapathy were going to bring to the squad? You know, potentially for guys that have never played with an overseas player before in this kind of competition. Well, definitely experience. Um, you know, watching Kaka over the years and what she's been doing for for South Africa, she's been doing a really good, um, really good work, and that will definitely help in in our bowling department, uh, bringing that experience. And yeah, hopefully she gets we get some wickets under her belt as well. And for Atta Part Two, I think that's that's a big one for us um, at the top order. Could definitely bolster you know, the, the button and yeah, we look forward um, to her get, you know, giving us a good start and, you know, hopefully win us a title. Uh, she drew some runs as well, after I think after a pretty lean trot at the Commonwealth Games, so I'm sure she's absolutely chomping at the bit to be scoring some runs here at the 60s. Yeah, I think so, um, but I think the type of player she is too, um, and it happens, you know, for batters, um, sometimes you do go through those lean patches and uh, you just have to keep reminding yourself that you know you're a good enough player who could definitely come out of that rut and I think she's one of those players um, and yeah just you know keep reminding herself that you know she's good enough and yeah she definitely will have her support um, so she could go out and you know play her game. The 60 brand new lots of innovations uh, what have your thoughts coming into it? I know you were saying that they're hopefully going to learn a bit more over the next couple of days. You spoke to speak to the organisers and everything else, but what's your your thoughts on the tournament so far? I think it's um, it's, it's it's a bit like the hundred, um, but yeah, definitely shorter. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be exciting, and yeah, we look forward to it. Um, yeah, in terms of the rules and stuff like that, it, there's some. Um, intricacy to that so hopefully get some more um, information so that we could understand um, you know when we go out there whether you know umpire do, does this what does that mean so yeah in terms of the, the the makeup of the side I suppose it's relatively interesting isn't it that you can have someone who comes in the side and just bowls right so that might you know in terms of the makeup of the team if you've only got six wickets you'll have you know you'll I mean, that's probably true of T10 anyway, but you'll have someone who could come in. I mean, do you think that's something that, as time goes on, is going to develop in terms of those tactical discussions you're having with coach and, the, and your brain, brain trust there at the Amazon Warriors? Yeah, so yeah, I guess um, tactically we have to make sure that, you know, we're on point because, you know, even with, with the 60, you have, um, is only six batters. So you have to make sure that, 
you know, all your battles um, get that opportunity and um, to face to face as much um, deliveries. Um, so yeah, I think it's for me it's more tactical, and yeah, you have to make sure that you get everything everything on point. And then of course we've uh, got these competitions happening. I know there's something that you guys have been talking about for a long time that you wanted to happen. What does it mean for you as someone who's been such a stalwart of women's Caribbean cricket to have these competitions at this level starting up? I think it's 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 a really good thing, um, and especially for the youngsters coming through. Um, you know, yeah, we see ourselves as the the pioneers, um, but it's more for the younger ones coming through and making sure that they have they have a base and to help develop the develop West Indies cricket because you definitely need that. Um, when you look at the our system, we probably don't have the the best of system, but um, we had we definitely have some young players coming through. Uh, we had or on the 19 regional on the 19 tournament. And we had a West Indies under-19 tournament that went to USA. Watch a couple of that game and see some, you know, young prospects, and it looks good. So um, I can now say that it looks like we, you know, we're going into, you know, the direction that we we really want to. Finally, Taylor, Diana, Amazon Warriors. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.